The jelking exercise is a method used for enlarging the penis. It is performed over the course of several weeks and it involves only the use of your hands. If you want more advice on how to enlarge your penis, please subscribe my YouTube channel, more lookbook videos are coming very soon. If you seriously want to know how to enlarge your penis fast, then please click the link in the description below. Learning how to get your penis bigger with the jelking exercise can be broken down into 7 steps. 1. Semi-erect. Here's the first thing you need to do for learning how to get your penis bigger with the jelking exercise. It involves achieving a semi-erection. Many make the mistake of trying to jelk with a full erection, but rather a partial 50-60% erection is the proper state to be in for this exercise to be effective. Tip: Use a warm washcloth and wrap it around your penis. This will increase blood flow and make it easier to achieve a partial erection quickly. Tip number 2, another option that is rarely talked about for warming up the penis, is taking a hot shower. This is actually very convenient for performing the jelk exercise after regular exercise, as you can hop in the shower and simultaneously warm down from your workout, and warm up for a set of jelks. 2. Lubrication. It's important to apply a generous amount of lubrication to your penis. This makes the exercise easier and won't cause any redness to occur either. Lube up your penis really good. Tip: Do not use water, use safe lubrication for the skin. Many guys think for some reason water is a lube alternative, but it's not. Tip number 2, what's the cheapest form of lube to use? If you have a dollar store in your area then you can lubricate for a buck. Most dollar stores have petroleum jelly which can work great for jelking lubrication. 3. OK Sign. This is where you are going to want to take your hand and join your thumb with your forefinger, making what is known as the OK Sign. This is the hand position you want for performing the jelk exercise. Tip, if for whatever reason you are more comfortable joining your thumb with your middle finger then by all means you can use this position. This is rarely mentioned in any jelking instructions and hence it seems to have become a golden rule of sorts that the thumb must be jointed with the forefinger. Personally, I have found it most comfortable alternating workout from workout with the middle finger to thumb and forefinger to thumb. 4. Start position. You now want to take the OK sign and wrap it around the base of your penis. This is the proper start position for the exercise. After each stroke you will want to return to the base to begin the next stroke. Tip, envision, clamping down, gently, with the OK sign to the bottom base of your penis. Many guys get lazy and start the exercise higher up than they should. This clamping down makes sure you are at the base. Tip 2, rarely mentioned anywhere else is the fact that pubic hair can often interfere with the clamp down. It slows the exercise down and makes it less smooth of an exercise to perform. So trim the pubic hair. Your clamp down will be more comfortable, and the exercise will go much more smoothly. 5. The stroke. Once you are in position, you then take your hand and gently stroke upwards in a slow, controlled manner. This is done in one motion ending just before the head of the penis. Tip, try for 2 to 3 seconds for each stroke. Tip 2, a personal tip I've found for staying focused and motivated during each stroke, is repeating the numbered stroke aloud, 1, 2, etc. 6. Repeat. You now repeat the stroke, but this time using your other hand. Then you simply alternate hands back and forth for a certain number of repetitions. Tip, keep your rhythm steady. Don't speed up the exercise as it may be tempting to do. Tip 2, one of the best ways to get in the zone while jelking is by listening to your music. Put your earphones on and play some tunes. Jelking will go by much more quickly this way. 7. Frequency. You usually want to perform the jelking exercise 4 to 5 times a week. It's always important to take a few days off for rest and recovery. The number of sets and reps you do will vary depending on what particular routine you choose to follow. The best routines will usually require at least 6 to 20 minutes a day, and as mentioned, 4 to 5 days a week. Tip, here is a very effective routine which has the correct number of sets and reps for growth in only weeks. Their routine only takes 6 minutes a day and has been shown very effective for gaining at least an inch of added penis size. Check it out here. Click the link in the description below. If you like the video, then give the thumbs up, and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for more information. I love you as I love myself, thanks for watching, have a nice day.